Hey everybody, Randy here again from Harris Model Works. Um, yeah, with tonight's video, we're going to continue on. Uh, we're going to sheathe the front wall here and get our door frames installed. So, with that being said, uh, actually, let me go over it real quick. Um, for the sheathing, we're going to be needing our plywood. It's y'all can read that. That's what we're going to be using tonight. And I've already got the one piece cut out. And all I did is I took a sheet of it, cut it 16 and a half inches long. And you stick it up there like so. Get everything flush with the outside edge and the top edge of the 2x4 up here. And get it all flush. And uh, you can clamp it down with these. Uh, I picked this tip up here from, I think, I want to say Dr. Cranky. You... you take your clothespins and you flip them inside out turn them inside out and they make perfect clamps so anyway you clamp it on there mark out on the inside of the door take it back off and trim you know cut the lines out and uh that's that simple there ain't nothing hard about it so anyway let's go on and get this thing attached um have to work kind of quick here with this glue because we've got a bunch of glue dots to put on here so try to work as quick as you can with it ah uh, crap Yeah, a lot of area to glue here. Y'all at home probably don't have to glue quite so much as what I'm doing here. I'm kind of excessively doing it because these things are going to have to be shipped in the mail. So I'm kind of overkilling it. You know how them guys are with the mail. They probably drop kick the thing across the uh, parking lot. So... That being said, I'm going to put a little bit extra glue on here. Anyway, I think that's about it. All right. I'm sorry, guys. We got the camera on the back side of the work here, but it's this that's how I have to do it. You know, I can spin it around once I get it on there and show you what we got, but y'all can probably see what's going on there from where yet. Get him flushed up there. Get a clamp on him.
Yeah, that's a really cool little trick. I want to say it was Dr. Cranky. I wouldn't swear to it, but it's been a couple of years ago I saw a video. But I, I honestly believe that's who it was that gave this little tip about the clothespins. And it works great, too, I might add. Yes, sir. It worked pretty good. As a matter of fact, I'm going to have to grab a couple more of them. Actually running out of them. Need one more. Yeah, y'all can kind of bear with me here um, on this project. I'm actually building two of these things simultaneously. I'm doing this one here on the YouTube channel, and I got a, uh, the, the other one I'm doing, I'm doing on Facebook. So I'm kind of trying uh, to keep them both going about at the same progress so I can get them wrapped up about the same time. So I get some done to this one, then I pull off of this one and go to the next one, get it caught up to this one kind of deal. And then there too, you know, this is uh, actually more than just model building here. This is like model making, I guess is what you could call it. Of course you're building it too, but you got to make the pieces to glue together. So you know, cut, at least cut them to length. And it takes time. It's not something that you can do in two days. You know, sometimes you can build a model car in just a couple of days if you rush through it. And this you really can't do that with. But uh, I probably ain't going to be able to because I still got to fill in here and we're already up to eight minutes. But y'all getting the idea here. Um, I probably, like I said, I probably won't be able to finish this on camera, but... What I want to do here, we're going to stick this to the side because that stuff's got to dry. Let's put him over here for now. Okay, uh, the next thing I want to do here real quick is build some door frames. Or build a door frame here. And what we got is a piece, let's see how long is this, it's like four and an eighth, you cut um, one piece, four and an eighth, and this is of the, um, Making this out of the 1 16th by 3 8 That's the material we're using for the door frames. So you cut one at four and a, what did I say, four and an eight.
go. Cut one piece at four and an eighth and two pieces at, at four inches. You take the, the four and an eighth piece and we're going to glue the two four inch pieces to the bottom edge of this. So it'll, um, the measurement should, you know, when you get it completed, it should be four and an eighth by four and an eighth. Anyway, guys, you want to build, when you get done with it, this is what you're going to end up with. Now, once again, we're going to need a piece of the 1 16th by 1 16th. It's like a 2 by 2 little square piece, 1 16th by 1 16th. And what we're going to do, and well, as you can see in the, in the picture here, you want to glue it to the front edge on the outside keeping it flush with the front edge of your door frame. Glue you two pieces for your legs and one piece across the top. That's our brick mold. That's, uh, that's what it'll look like when it's all done. And uh, Anyway, that's what we're going to end up with those there. You'll need three of those all together. Anyway, guys, I'm up to 12 minutes here and I'm running out of time here. So we're going to wrap this one up at this point. Anybody have any questions or anything, just leave, leave you know, me a comment or something. Um, and to John Paul, I want to say to John Paul here from Dragnut uh, Model Garage, um, bear with me, brother. I'm going to, you know, I'll get you a material list on what you're asking for and try to get you, a, you know, somewhat you know some plans kind of sketched up for you but just give me a little bit here i'm trying to work on these garages you know for get, is to get as much done right now as i possibly can but i will be getting those to you here shortly brother and anyway with that being said this is randy here saying peace out um wanting to thank all my subscribers and everybody out there in youtube land and um yeah, it's me saying peace out, and I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.